dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Also, endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. The 14th Emir of Kano, Malam Sanusi II, on Wednesday, cautioned against perceiving agitation for restructuring as a call for secession, civil war, and division that would further disunite the country. Sanusi said, though restructuring is essential, but some of Nigerians' problems are beyond restructuring. He spoke at Ekiti State University at Do Ekiti during the 24th Convocation Lecture of the institution on Wednesday. Sanusi, who is the Ekiti State University Chancellor, in his remark said, there is a difference between restructuring and secession. There is a difference between restructuring and division. There is a difference between restructuring and civil war. Some are using ethnic profiling to divide us. Ethnicity and religion are mere identities. They don't represent our values and who we, who we are indeed. Nigeria has problems that are far beyond restructuring. Though restructuring is important, let us follow the rules and build a strong system through our strong moral values and approaches to issues. A senior advocate of Nigeria, Femi Falano, who delivered the convocation lecture entitled Restructuring and the Liberation of Nigeria, said, the way forward is that the struggle for restructuring and liberation of the poor people of Nigeria from the bondage of poverty and inequality requires the adoption of vertical and horizontal measures. To build a peaceful and united Nigeria rooted in social justice, equity, and genuine freedom. The human rights lawyer charged governors genuinely interested in restructuring to democratize the powers that have, de that have devolved to state governments from the center through litigation. The Ekiti State University Vice Chancellor Professor Edward Olanikweku said, the Nigerian nation perhaps because of the colonial mode of evolution, remains contentious, leading to continuous agitation for restructuring, even in the extreme, the dissolution of the Union 60 years after independence. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Nigerians' problems are far beyond restructuring, then what is the solution? Is the question that readily comes to mind. While some people believe secession is the solution, some are saying restructuring is the solution. 
but which do we agree upon or which do we actually think? What exactly is the solution to the problems facing the country? The Southeastern people are talking about secession, a Biafra Republic. Some people in the Southwest are agitating for the Odua Republic. Some in the North are calling for the Arewa Republic. If restructuring is not the solution to the problems facing Nigeria, then what is? Then ordinarily, one will just have to conclude that Secession might just be the solution. And that would now make or put Nambicano's call for secession to be right. Because secession is what Nambicano has been calling for over a long period of time. Saying that the best solution or the solution to the problems facing the country today is secession. But however, if Nigeria divides today, don't you think the same issues that bewilder the Nigeria today will also affect other regions as it were? Because of the peculiar or the peculiarities as it were to every region in the country. The North has serious peculiarities, from the Almajiri Menans to the different ethnic groups in the northern part of the country. You go to the Southwest, there are different ethnic groups. You go to the Southeast, there are different ethnic groups. So how do they manage this situation, or this ethnicity, this level of ethnicity? As it has been said, Nigeria has over 650 ethnic groups or languages, as it were. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. So how do we deal with these particular issues, as it is, from the look of things? This is a very strong challenge that faces the country today. So if restructuring, as it were, is not the solution, then what else is the solution? Is a question that readily comes to mind. We're talking about the devolution of powers from central to the state and to the local government. We're talking about resource control. We're talking about community policing and so many other issues that could help address the situation and challenges that Nigeria is facing as a country. If the country is not restructured, then it will only with time head towards division if care is not taken. Well, these are my thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong. However, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? I would like to hear from you. I would like to know what your thoughts are and what your opinions are on these issues. Please drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.